What's up? It's Luis with America's Best Restaurants, and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. And today we are in Indianapolis, Indiana at one of my favorite restaurants. This is Kaplinger's Fresh Catch Seafood Market. I'm excited to be back, so let's see what the fresh catch of the day is today. Andrew. Luis. Man, great to see you again, dude. Same to you. I'm excited. Great to have you man. back. Thank you. I'm excited. You know, I've been telling everybody throughout the whole trip, my go-to is the calamari fries. Well, we just happen to have you all ready to go, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I want everybody to see this. These are calamari fries. What the sauce? What's the sauce? It's called Romalade sauce. Okay. But you yep. make it from a recipe from your dad, the base is the tartar, is that right? Yeah, my dad uh, has put together our tartar sauce recipe and then I use that as the base for the romalade sauce. Sort of like tartar sauce with a kick. <laughs> it's outstanding, man. This is one of Thank my you. favorite items. Thank you. Here at Kaplinger's, and I was telling everybody from our team, I haven't seen this anywhere else. It's, it's a unique option. Yeah. And tasty, obviously. It is. It's so. outstanding. I love <laughs> the breading that you have. I've even told you before, it's awesome. It's one of my favorite things. Thank and you. then this calamari, it's got a little bit of a dense yes. kind of structure to it, but it's not tough. It's, yeah. It's tender, but dense, if that makes any sense. That's and nailing that it. sauce, dude, that's a winner, man. I want to put <laughs> this sauce on everything. Oh my God. I like hearing that. So, dude, I love it. Now, <laughs> And I'm eating with food in my mouth, so good. Or talking with food in my mouth. Now, you have a showcase chocolate fillets, yes. shrimp, and all kinds of things. Can we go around to take Absolutely, a look? Absolutely, man. Yeah. yeah, let's take a look. Okay. Awesome. All right. Of course, you got some desserts and everything. But this oh, yeah. is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the case because you have just gorgeous fillets, man. I mean, thank you. You got some shrimp, you got scallops, you got crawfish, all kinds of things. Now, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, you can come here, I can come here, right? Get one of these catfish fillets or the salmon, sea bass, whatever that may be, and I can take it home and make it. Yep. Or you can make it for me here, right? Well, do whatever you want. We so aim to did, please. How, how does that, how did that come about? It was just something that, you know, through the whole process of putting everything together, we knew that our customers would enjoy, you know, either taking it home or if they didn't want to enjoy taking it home, we'll cook it for them and take care of all the, the fun work for them. That's so. awesome. Well, I mean, you got oysters here, you got shrimp scallops, you got crawfish, let's see, grouper fingers. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's been a, a real, real hit for okay. us as the grouper. Okay. Yeah, we've added that onto the menu over the last year and it's been awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. You got rainbow trout, you got whole catfish and now, you have your own catfish farm, so you're yeah. gonna start be able to start harvesting yep. your own shop. That's fantastic. Hopefully in the next month or two. That here. is fantastic, man. Yep. I mean, everything just looks so gorgeous. Thank you. We get deliveries every single day. Really? So if there's ever anything that our customers are needing, if they call us up one day ahead of time, we're gonna get it for them the really? next day as long as okay. it's available and in season. Okay. Now I understand that you have another interesting dish, and I'll be even <laughs> I put it out in the ether, and then lo and behold, you have it, right? Yes. Can yep. we go try that next? I think we can make that happen. Okay, awesome. That's coming up next. Wait till you see it. Awesome. All right. So we have an item here that I've been basically putting out to the ether, and then lo and behold, you have it. Yep. Okay. Talk to me, what is this? This is our seafood Philly. It's our version of a Philly cheesesteak made with seafood. It's half of a lobster roll, uh, half blue Holy crab melt. There's thing. four fried shrimp. How some, am I supposed to eat this, dude? Well, very carefully. And a lot of times uh, you, have to, you have to bathe and take a shower or some, something afterwards. It's messy, so. Wow, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. It's all the best of all the worlds right there. Bunch of cheese, 
sauteed onions, peppers, lobster, crab, shrimp. I mean, come on. This and rum lot sauce. This is really, 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 really damn good. <laughs> You're right. I mean, I, I don't know how I'm going to eat all this, but mm. <laughs> that bread, the crunch it with the bread. Yep. Oh my God, dude, this is really good. <laughs> it's so good. If you ever wondered why hasn't anybody made a seafood Philly, well, just come here. Because I literally, I was wondering, <laughs> I put this out there either like two weeks ago or so. We were filming somewhere else and I thought about it. And here it is. We beat you because we had that we've had that out for about two years now. So. Oh my god. This yep. is amazing. Thank you. I mean Thank you probably you. need a pillow by the time you're done because you're gonna pass out. <laughs> right? Yeah. But that is really good. Wow. Thank and then you. you have these chips. What are these called? It's a it's our buffalo fries. It's sort of like a chip and a fry combination with a little bit of kick to oh it. And just yeah, they go great with it. That's amazing. Thank now, you. I want to get into the origin story of Capoeira. Right? Yeah. Because I was mistakenly thinking that it was your dad who came up with it, but it's not. It, 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 it all stemmed Part from my dad. It, it all stemmed yeah. from that because your dad used to be in the seafood business, right? Well, oh yeah. He's been in the yeah. business his whole life. Yeah, pretty much. still is because he's he's been a huge part of what we've done here. Um, just we were we had lived out of state. Courtney and I had lived out of state. We were in North Carolina, mm -hmm. and my dad was selling furniture, which was uh, something he he just wasn't made to sell furniture. He was great at it, but he's made to sell fish. So back we got the, the this is where he started, right? Yeah. So tell standard me about grocery. This. this uh, this is an actual ad from probably the mid 70s that my dad was in uh, when he worked at Standard. It's right there. And uh, that's where he started in the fish business and just sort of passed all that down down through the lines to to me. So because you, you worked your entire life essentially in the seafood business pretty much, right? Yeah, my dad and I have worked together. We were figuring it out about 22 out of the 43 years of my life. Wow. So it's been it's been pretty significant, yeah. Wow! And then you and I were talking off camera, and you mentioned that back in '96, right? You had this presentation to the SBA, is that right? Yeah, so yeah. Tell me about that. So it was my junior year in high school. I was uh, in a club called Deca, which is like a marketing organization, and um, I did a project where you actually put together a. Uh, an entire business plan mm -hmm. and you present it to members of the SBA to see if they would uh, approve your loan. Mm -hmm. Obviously I wasn't going for a loan as a junior high okay. school back then but um, ended up one in state with it and got to go out to California and do nationals. I didn't win anything out there but it was uh, you know just sort of the start of everything you know I'd already been working with my dad for a few years at that point and you know, we just had to wait around another decade or so to have all of it come to fruition. So, but that was more like a validation that yes, I'm on the right path, right? I it sure felt like one, yeah. And it's pretty cool to be able to say I was on that path, you know, back in in high school, you know, and to see that it's actually happened. I mean, right. that doesn't happen very often. So then you and you, so you you and your wife had moved to Asheville, North Carolina. Yes. Yep. Yep. You, made, you made the decision. What year was that? 2012, something like that? The, when we made the decision, yes, it was 2012. We were out there for a few years and okay. decided it was time to come home. And as my wife is a New Year's Eve baby, and she, uh, we were out uh, for her birthday, and she said, hey, let's put things together and get that fish market going that you've always wanted to get going. Yeah. So here we are. So you came back and you told your dad the news. How did dad react? Oh, he was stoked. Yeah. Yeah. I said he, he was good at selling. He could sell ice to an Eskimo, as okay. they say, but um, he uh, has always loved the fish business. And so he was he was absolutely ready to rock when it came to that. Really? So, really? Yep. So working with your father, 22 out of 43 <laughs> years you've been in this planet, which is half your life, yep. over half your life. How does that feel like, man? <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Because, uh, you know, we've never killed each other. And uh, <laughs> bonus. <laughs> we've come close, but uh, it's uh, I 
came up, I don't know if I came up with the saying, hopefully I don't have a, a copyright person watching me that I didn't come up with this, but um, I always said, we might not always be on the same page with everything, but we're always in the same book. Okay. And Courtney has always been there to sort of help to get us, you know, on that same page, because sometimes maybe both of us aren't on the same page and she gets us there. So, so. Courtney, your wife, she's the arbitrator. Yes. Shout out yep. to Courtney. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. cool. That's yeah. really good. So, so essentially your, your entire life you've been to seafood, really. Yeah. That's awesome. Because I mean, I can tell the passion. Plus, now you have a catfish farm that you're going to starting to, to be harvesting from. Yeah. That's exciting. It's, it's pretty awesome. And it's all, you know, thanks to uh, the staff. I mean, we got, they're not the staff, they're friends, they're yeah, family, family, you know, literal family on a lot of them. And then uh, the ones that aren't, they feel like family. You know, yeah. Charles that you met today. Yes. I've known Charles since he was 15 years old. Oh, His wow. first job was with us when we were at 56th Street Fish Market. And okay. uh, Tony has been with us. Uh, he's not at this particular store, but I've got, I could go down the list. Almost everybody has a story behind why they're with us. And it, again, it's just, it's pretty awesome. And we couldn't do it without all of them. And then obviously yeah. our customers too. Yeah. Well, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it all comes down to, to the people, right? No because doubt. at the end of the day, people come to the restaurant for the first time to try the food, but they're going to return for that service for the people, yes. right? The, yep. the food just happens to be amazing as a bonus, <laughs> you know? So you know the quality you're going to get when you come to the restaurant. And this right here is probably going to put me to sleep, but I am going to eat all of it, okay? <laughs> I wanted to tell you that. But what I wanted to do before I do that, is there an yes. opportunity for us to go to the kitchen, make a dish? Is that cool? Absolutely. Yep. We're going to get you preparing one of our best newer sellers. So. Really? Which yep. one is that? The grouper dinner. Oh, grouper yep. dinner. Coming up next. <laughs> All right, everybody. So now we are in the kitchen with the legend. This is Chuck. Yeah. Chuck, you've been, you've known Andrew since you were 15, right? Yeah, since I was 15 years old. Started at 56th Street Fish Market. Okay. Uh, basically, my foundation where I learned everything that I learned today from that guy okay. Andrew in 56. So love it. I've been here for a while. Love it. So what are we gonna make today? We're gonna do some grouper fingers. So grouper okay. dinner here. Okay. We got 12 ounces of grouper okay. fingers here. So. So we're gonna drop these in here. Uh huh. What is this right this here? This is the milk egg wash here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So we're gonna drop them in here. Drop them in there. Yep. All righty. All righty. Okay. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna lift it up and yes, drain sir. it. Okay. All righty. And, and now we just it. and then you're gonna dump it in here. Okay. All righty. There we go. All right, there you All go. Right. Then you're gonna coat it very well with the breading. And then you're gonna kind of shake the excess breading off once you get it coated. Okay. Kind of, yep. Any of them get lost in here sometimes? Sometimes, but you gotta, <laughs> you gotta do your search party and get, get in there and get it out of there. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna transfer it over to the basket here. Okay. To make sure that nobody got lost in here. All right. No, I think we're good. I think right. we're good. All we're right. Drop them here. Which one? This one or this one? It doesn't make doesn't a difference, matter. buddy. Okay. Okay. You lay them kind of out like this? Yeah, kind of spread them out. Spread give them, them out a little bit? Yep. Okay. That prevents them from sticking sometimes. Right. Okay. And then we're out there, buddy. Then we're going to drop. Okay. And usually these group of fingers are kind of thin, so they're going to cook a little quicker. So okay. going about three or four minutes here. Once they float up to the top, get a okay. nice golden brown, and be ready to go here. Okay, fantastic. So tell me, man, what? Tell me a little bit more about your story. 56, right? Yes. And then, then you came here to, to Kaplinger's? Yep. Uh, Ashley Andrew got with Anthony Murray, okay. and uh, Anthony Murphy found me, uh, basically called us up, and basically we were starting from scratch zero, basically. We're up there putting towels up in the store, basically, in the beginning, <laughs> you know, so came from that we started and then it took off like a rocket you know with the you know great customer service the great things that we do the quality seafood that we okay. bring in and 
it's the rest been history since then. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, you, I heard that you're the seafood whisperer, man. You're the man. I'm one of them. I feel like all our guys <laughs> bring a certain quality to the fish market. As far as knowledge, everyone's pretty knowledgeable okay. for it. So, okay. not that I'm the whisper or anything, but I am <laughs> well, here. I said that. <laughs> yeah, you said that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here to basically, people that are intimidated, scared, you can come in and feel comfortable and we can get you set the right way so you Love can start you eating seafood and, you know, enjoying it. Love the right it. Way. So, once these fingers are done, we're gonna go for plating, right? Yep. Okay, okay that's coming up next. All right, so now we got this plated, right? So now we're gonna see if I actually did a good job or if I fired. Is yeah. that right? All right, Chuck. See how you go. So here we go. Let's try one of these. The tartar. Wow, it's good stuff. And super light. Super light. Very mild fish. Very flaky. Wow. Very good. That breading is amazing. It's Bread. a nice and light breading. Nice and light fish. With that tartar. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. Company. This is the number one seller? No, I'll say Cafe is special, but this is a close second. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, this is really, really good. Yeah, very good. And then of course, you wanted me to try some of the sides, right? Best collard greens, great red bean and rice here. Okay. Mm. And then the collards, wow. Stand behind those against anyone. Wow. Yeah. Those are great. Great flavor. Wow. Mm. Great smoked turkey. Very great. I'm super impressed, man. Well, Chuck, I really appreciate you showing me this. Appreciate you. Had an amazing time, man. This this is absolutely awesome. Nothing else to say. Come get some. Well, folks, clearly I'm hooked. You know, after having the calamari fries, the seafood Philly, and the grouper dinner, what other magical treasures does Kaplingers have? Well, that's up to you because you have to stop by. You can certainly find them on KaplingersFreshCatch.com. You can find them on Facebook as well under Kaplingers Fresh Catch. And you can find them on AmericasBestRestaurants.com. And that is it for us. I'll tell you right now, restaurant is 1,000% certified legit. That's it for us today at America's Best Restaurants. We'll see you guys on the next one.